Posse Posse Packer Nation. Welcome to the hurt. Welcome to the sadness. Welcome to the trials and tribulations of Tom Grassi and Ryan Grant. There you go. I am Tom Grassi, as I just stated. My co-host, Ryan Grant. And uh, Ryan, not the... Uh, not the episode we thought we were going to be doing. Nope. No, not at all. Uh, not the reality that we uh, we expected to step into. Woke you know, up Monday morning, a little confused. A little confused, yeah. A little confused. Didn't know if up was down, left was right. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, you no. Know, but that's uh, this is how it goes. You know, we we were talking about this over the past couple of weeks, right? And, you know, I don't want to point fingers, <clears throat> Ryan Grant, but you were the one who said you wanted the Buccaneers. <clears throat> just saying, I'm, ju- I'm just saying, you know, just want to get that out there. I prefer the Saints, but it's okay. There's no harm, no but, foul. But I did say I wanted the Bucs because I think that, um, I think we matched it better. And I also think that it was a good competition. I like, I like, I like the competition. I like the, I like the highest of the highest. I want, I want it makes to, sense. I want Listen, to, be the best, to be the best. Rick, Rick Flair, baby. You got a Rick Flair, yeah, the son of a gun, all day. And I get it. You know, I think the, the, we were talking about this off camera for a little bit and I, and we were going through, you know, obviously the depressing stat of the fact that in, in seven years, the Green Bay Packers had been to four NFC championship games and lost each of them. And I have to say that, you know, yeah, 2014, we had a good squad, but it was going up against a buzzsaw. That was the, the Seahawks that could have gone either way. Obviously we're doing really well on the, the way that game ended was a nightmare. 2016 was run the table. You know, that was, that was pure like energy in a bottle. 2018 or 2019, excuse me, what we had last year, you know, we were, we were playing with house money and like this though, this team, I was so confident in this was like, um, this This reminded me of like, you know, obviously 2010, but it also reminded me of, you know, the Favre's last NFC championship game, which we played it. It was like, this is a damn good team that absolutely can go to the Super Bowl and win it. And just yeah. to have that confidence and then for it just to not work out is just, oof. Oh, man, I, I said off camera, gut-wrenching. You know, this this team was like incubated. Oh, yeah. And you watched it slowly just grow and grow. And you're like, oh, look at what this is <laughs> becoming. Oh, yeah. this is like so perfect. And, you know, as I said, this is why – it just really brings it back and frames the conversation around how hard it is to actually win in this league. It's very difficult. And I know Packers fans that we are used to and uh, expected and have a standard of you win and you win well and you win often. And But because we have experienced it, it's not easy. It is hard it is difficult. It doesn't happen often for so many, as much as we're experiencing this, so many people are like, ha ha, and laughing at us, but speaking yeah. usually, probably because they haven't even experienced the playoffs as much as we do. <laughs> so, Lions fans are like, uh, what yeah, you know, um, it's, it's rough. It's, it's, it is, it's, it's difficult and it's, it's abrupt. It's always abrupt whenever it is, no matter yeah. what, we're not, it's just abrupt. Like, God, um, but because it's remarkable, that's what makes it even more harbor. You know, so yeah. I think um, we uh, it also speaks to what I said. It also speaks to how phenomenal what Tom Brady has done. So hats off and, to Tom, because um, at the end of the day, you can't even yeah, you really want to ten, know. like ten. ten. He's got more. Check this out. I think I saw something that where like he has like more playoff appearances than like most of the NFL. Yeah. Yeah. I believe like, it. More than like three teams in the NFL. He personally yes, has more him. playoff appearances than like yeah. most of the teams in the NFL. We, we were talking a little bit um, off camera about this and talking about kind of just like that day after. Right. And and you mentioned the squad <coughs> um, in the wild card game against Arizona the year before you guys won the Super Bowl. Right. Yeah. And like how like there was like that team. 
you know, you unfortunately have witnessed, thankfully we're able to get a Super Bowl out of it, but you have witnessed like some teams that have gotten like so close or thought that you like, you know, you could get it done that we were yeah. one of the best squads in the, in the, in the bowl, like, you know, in, in the playoffs. And I kind of just like want to like pick your brain a little bit being on that end of things. Like what is like that next week look like? Obviously like the first few days are just like, okay, well, this is terrible. Cause like, I'm not going to see people ever like, you know, on this team yeah. again, you know, like there's, there's the end of that. Cause every year is so different with the new set of teammates every year, but like, what does that first week look like in terms of like coping with it? It's rough. I don't, it's, it is rough, you know, and I think guys, guys cope in different ways, of course, sure. you know, some guys, I didn't have a family in regards to my own personal family at that time. So I think having kids, always helps because they don't care. And what I mean <laughs> is that they love you regardless. So in the That's same way, you have a, as hard as your life is, you know, as, as hard as your particular profession or career or hobby is, whatever you're into, and it's devastating, you're still their dad and they're still going to, you know what I mean? They're, That's they're, nice, yeah. They're going to come home and they're going to want you to still, I still need you to feed me. I still need, yeah. you, to, I still need you to do all the responsibilities. Still need to be the dad. Breath, they're going to love you in that same breath. So, um, I, I think it puts things in perspective in that aspect, but also, yeah, you you might do something to get yourself away, or you might try to, re, you know, retrace your steps and start to kind of analyze and stuff like that. I personally didn't try to analyze like right away because I think it's so it would be so easy for me personally to to go down rabbit holes and get sure. caught up, and, it, and especially because I was one of those type of people that I would be devastated when we lost especially when I didn't feel like I did my job. Gotcha. You know, because I, and I think what makes individual elite and pros in any, in any career, whatever it may be, that is, they're very, not to say perfectionist, and we understand what it, we don't, no one's perfect, but we are this tribe that we've always felt like, everybody basically feels like that if we do our job, we win. You know, yeah. and for, as a running back, I used to feel like, oh, if I do my job really well, we win the game because what comes along with me doing my job very well is controlling the clock, yep, throwing the ball, yeah, putting you know play action in place, and I always trust it. I'm like, oh, of course we got a rod. So there's so many other things that it's like, oh, if I just do my job, we're gonna win the game. You know what I mean? And when individually, if people feel like, oh, I didn't really do my part, that makes yeah. me harder. You know, um, you want to do everything because you want to do everything you can to help your team win for your team. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's rough, you know, going in. I think it builds when you know what you have and you go into the next year having the core of that. Yeah. you It's like the excitement level is even greater because sure. you're like, oh, I know when we went into that 2010 season, oh, we were pumped. Yeah. And we were like, oh, this league's in trouble. Yeah. I felt, I felt like I was going to run for 1,500 yards that year. Yeah. Uh, we, we just felt really good. Like, A-Rod was rock. You know what I mean? After what he put up in the – you know what I mean? We just were like, oh. We, yeah, we got that it. wild card game, you're just like, oh, yeah. yeah like, we did all, everything across the board. It was like, yeah, that wild card game was devastating. And it was like, because we put ourselves in that hole, that's why it was so devastating. But the way we came back, we fought, and we were like, we're good. We can ball. Like, you know what I mean? There's not a question that we can ball. And it just – it's hard, but this is what makes the game great. This is why it's a team game. There's so much on the line. Those other, what we feel, every other team feels it. <laughs> yep. And they have to go out and work. And the team that can basically put it together every Sunday in this tournament is, it's remarkable. It really is. So, yeah. I don't know. I got nothing. <sighs> And we talked about that too, right? Like unlike other sports where you have like, you know, best of seven series or you're playing multiple yeah. games, that's not the NFL. I mean, like that's, that is the beauty of the NFL. It's you, you screw up once, you know, you don't have your best game and it doesn't matter what you did for 17, 18 weeks. None of it matters. Like it's I'm, done. It I'm, is I'm, done. Nobody cares. That doesn't mean anything. No. What do you mean? I've, I've, I've been a part of 13 and three, 15 and one, nothing that went home nothing. with nothing. It meant nothing. And you win it with 10 and six, you know, like, and that, yep. that's and the with the team that we were like, I, what I said, the yep. team that we were like, Oh, it's understood. If we don't get it done, we're so basically people got playing hurt. with somewhat of a B squad that has is playing astronomical, like just playing out of this world. 
But what we have something like 16 IR guys, 11 starters. Yep. Yeah. So it would have been totally understandable if we did. Sure. That's you got it. It's it's the nature of the sport. It's the same thing that is remarkable about this sport is what makes it so hard. Yeah. And vice versa. What makes it it's why it's so remarkable. It's like wow. So when teams that can do it and are able to get it done, it is a remarkable thing. Hats off. Um and that's why the Bears will never do it. And like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, obviously, um, you know, Rogers, because Rogers had his press conference, of course, right after on Sunday in which like, you know, he's talking about how much like, you know, there were so many futures that were up in the air and uncertain. Yeah. And he said, like, including myself, which set off a, a media storm. And we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, but, that. You know, the, the thing that you mentioned that I really liked is what I was going to bring up is if you look at last season, you know, that's why I was really excited for this season, right? Mm. In that they had the core, a lot of the same guys were coming back, right? You still had the, you know, the dynamic backfield. You had the defense who was improved, right? Yeah. And it was like, all right, get those few pieces, you know, the floor, second season, what have you. And that's what showed this season, right? Obviously there was bumps in the road. Obviously the defense in the beginning wasn't playing well, but the offense was playing really well. Then the defense started playing really well. And it just seemed like it was, complimentary football of everybody coming I mean, together. Yeah, it was you gelling know. exactly when we wanted it to. Exactly. And anybody that says that this team didn't improve from last year, you're oh. bugging. Yeah. You're absolutely bugging, even defensively. Yep. Like, yes, they were current thing, but I think that they, they improved even in the manner of how they corrected certain things. You know, and, oh. and it, well, you, you bring that up too. Like, so, you know, you look at Sunday's game and our pass rush was non-existent, right? I think yeah. we got, like, it was, it was non-existent. However, you know, we got three interceptions. You know, Adrian Amos has one. Jair Alexander has two. Right, but yeah. they put us in positions to win the football game. Oh, you know, you we, can we, point we. out Shannon Sullivan or, or Kevin King and of not having their best games. But overall, you know, Still they had a very much of opportunity to win the game. Absolutely. And any and, other, and, if you look at it from a statistical aspect, all the data would say that, oh, they should win this game mm -hmm. based upon what you try to work for in a game. You work for turnovers. As a defense, you try to create turnovers because we know statistically if you create turnovers, that puts you the best chance to win the game. The team who turns the yep. ball over the least usually wins the game. That's that's usually how it goes. Yes, we had, but it's – yes, it, this, this is it. You still got to get it done. I don't and, know. and that's the thing that kind of like bothers me heading into next year. You know, we're not, we're not being pessimists or anything here, you know, because it never knows. And strength of schedule is always a joke. But like yeah. next year, like we do have some tough opponents. You know, it, it is going to be a um, a challenging season if the records, you know, stay around where yeah, they are yeah, this yeah. year. Uh, just playoff contending teams, and on top of that, you know, there's going to be guys gone. You know, you look at the Aaron Jones of the world, or Jamal Williams, or potentially Corey Lindsley. Like those are those are three major factors and of why we've been successful for this season yeah. and and previously. You know, not having those. And it's not that I don't believe in AJ Dillon or anything, but it's just like now. Yeah, it's you know, just they're just unknowns. It's, there's it's a lot unknowns. of unknowns. They, they, they are unknowns. They're or or not as known as what we do, you know, and what we do know. And it's funny, it's it's interesting how you know, I, I before the loss, before the game, I hear a lot of people saying we keep Jones, Jamal leaves. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. And I don't know if it's just the nature of like how things work or the game or just natural program. but now i'm hearing people talking about okay we let go of jones it's too much it's too expensive and i'm like wait a minute, what it's it, it comes down honestly it comes down to cap in that you know with, with the cap restrictions that are coming one and two well i don't know see and that i'm not familiar with is is are we we're not no we're not good in cap like the cap is bad um okay. you know covid is obviously going to most likely be reduced but the the big problem is like, we just can't afford to keep these people. You know, it, it came down to coming into this season, you know, you had David Bakhtiari, obviously, you know, on a contract, uh, it was in a contract year. They decided to keep him, which makes sense. Which yeah, happened but you, because of Aaron, because of Aaron, because of the quarterback. Job. Yeah, I, exactly. The way, you know, the, the, way I, the game goes, you, you got to make sure that. Regardless of who's the quarterback too, right? Like, exactly. like we that's what I said. That so is, regardless of the way the game goes, because yeah. you, you're going to pass, and that's the staple right now for the most part yep. of our sport. You have yeah. to make sure that you have a solid line. So you, yeah. you had high ticket free agents in like, you know, Kevin King, cause he played well last year. You know, you had Kevin King, you had Jamal Williams, Aaron Jones, Corey Lindsay and Dave Bakhtiari and Kenny Clark too. You know, you had him on there too. And obviously we gave him a big contract and it's just a matter of like, there's not enough money to go around kind of thing. So I, I have to say like, I would not be surprised. Unfortunately, if, if none of them get recently, really? I would not be terribly surprised unless they do 
some kind of cap magic. But like people don't like to hear this, that like when we re-sign our own guys, that also means that we're not going out into free agency. Like yeah. people don't like to hear that yeah, because yeah. they don't consider our own guys free agents, but they are, right? They're impending yeah, they free are, agents. Absolutely, because they can get, yeah, no, definitely. You know, so, and, and I think that's that's my biggest cause for concern. You know, I think the Green Bay Packers are still going to be a good team next year because, you know, anytime that Aaron Rodgers is your quarterback, <laughs> you know, you're, you're going to have a shot. And, shot but I will say, though, like that there is, um, okay, you know, there, it's, there's a little bit more unknown heading into next season. And, you know, you mentioned mortality before and talking about, you know, how many more opportunities. Is, it's so difficult to win this league, to get to the sure. NFC Championship game this many times. How many more opportunities is Aaron Rodgers going to have in a Packers jersey to do that, especially, you know, after next season where there's potential, you know, he's not on the team anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. And I think that that's even more for me, not – Having the attachment of playing and being part of the team from that aspect, yeah. it is. It's, I, I think with age, my my sense of mortality <clears throat> comes into play. And just to like you know, something has to, something gives. Even with the notion of not to say that, you know, I'm, I'm attached to a Rod individually, and sure. I'm also attached to a Rod collectively as a Packer. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like my idea of I want to see a Rod win but right now i want to see a rod win as a packer yeah you know what i mean so it's like uh, because a rod's a brother because he's my friend you know, my, like i want to see him win but i also want to see him win as a packer because i know everything he's given to this organization and vice versa and it's like oh that that relationship needs to come all the way into fruition to give him what i feel like is quote-unquote deserving yeah but it's just it is what it is man you only get a certain amount of opportunities and we've been blessed as yeah. always <laughs> to be able to have as oh yes so, oh yes which makes it even more frustrating which may, you know whatever uh sure yeah i don't i don't know maybe uh, I, I, maybe we lose there is the potential you know i do think that um and i don't like to like i'm not hating on anybody but i think that they, sure. what do you think they do with uh with clark because i think that I, I think that to maybe see what it, I don't know how it's going to save up money. Oh, Kenny Clark. No, not Kenny Clark. Um, oh, Preston Smith. Preston Smith. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, you know, the way that Rashawn Gary has been playing, I think, you know, he's been playing as you, you've called many a times this season, you know, he he's been playing at a starter level and it would help with the cap. Um, if they, if they, I think they're going to try to, to alleviate some yes. sort of pressure and say, you know what? We can, we won't somewhat miss a beat if we bring Gary in. He's going to learn more. You know, there's more upside right now. I, I think that for and and not that I like Preston Smith. I'm not sure. A, not, it's just that for what they paid him, based upon his performance last year with Sedarius, the two of them. Yeah. Uh, so, I, but I don't. But actually, I literally I will say that when it comes to GM cap and all that sure. stuff, there is a reason why I am not <laughs> aspiring to be a general manager. Yeah. in any capacity or have any there because I probably would have a team that people would be like, this is ridiculous. And I'd be like, but I like them though. <laughs> I like them. They're good people. They're good people. Um, I like them though. So. Yeah. I mean, there, there is potential that it, it goes down that road. Um, I don't know. Like it's, it's scary because you look at it and, and this was kind of it, you know, people talking about like, oh, Roger's going to leave and stuff like that. I'm like, he's not leaving this year. Like, it makes no sense for either party, right? Yeah, no, like, not, it doesn't make sense. For and I, I didn't even, even when in the press conference, that's yeah. not what I, by any means, took from it. You know, yeah. I think people potentially, I, yeah, it was weird. It was like, okay, they're just going to run. But I didn't take any of that from it. I didn't take any of He's definitely going to be back next year. Um, but it's just the nature of, I think, even him recognizing like, oh, there is some sort of end game to this. There is, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, it's just it does it, it starts to wear on you. Yeah. Like, ah. Uh, like, uh, how many times am I going to get this close? Yes. Like, how many? Ah. Uh, uh, how many times? You know. Um, shoot, I felt like that when we lost in 2011. I was devastated. You know, I didn't feel like I performed the way I should have in the game. We lost the game. And then that's then, but the real gut wrenching was aspect was this potentially, this realistically might be the last opportunity. Yeah. One of the last opportunities. You know what I mean? Like 
I'm starting to see the window close yeah. in regards to this, you know, and maybe not necessarily just in general, but like with this squad, with this pack, you know what I mean? With the Packers. It's just because of the nature of the sport, especially in for my position. Sure. It was like, oh, man. And then you start to be like, yo, I'm doing everything I can. Like, my whole life is based around winning this Super Bowl. <laughs> it's like, yeah, literally. if I can't get this right, if yeah. I can't create this, it's like, gee, what's going on? Um, and I think it it also it, highlights, especially like when you lose, like you kind of like snap out of it for a second, right? Because like you have just dedicated how many months, right? Of yeah. just like 24 seven. Yes, like, total focus, it. total intention. You literally, you you create spaces so that your mind is so full. You know, I used to say that like when I was playing, I didn't want to go more than 10, 15 minutes without thinking about football. Yeah. Because I wanted to literally become one with the sport intentionally. I wanted to move from a space of intention. And it's, yeah. So in that, when it doesn't go, you're like, oh. I, I just did all of that. Just did all, yeah. Just, I, and then did. I got to do it again next year. Like, hopefully, yeah, but like, I got to do it back, again. You got to start back all over. Uh, like, that hurts. From scratch. Yeah, it's rough. It's, 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 <laughs> Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, one out of 32 teams gets to experience that. Like, we did it. Like, that, like, that, that's yeah, it. Yeah, we, we did it. Whoa. And that's why guys are literally crying across the board because it's like, we did it in all sports. This is why they, this, okay, so for all the fans, this is why they cry. Yeah. <laughs> when they win. At the end of it, it's because the amount of energy and energy looks very different in many different ways. So that's time spent. That is discipline, time taken away from other things. Yep. Cutting distractions out, whether it be family, a lot, so many other, so many things on the table. Family members are like, <gasps> because they know what they've had to sacrifice for. Yep. Across the board. So much of this is there's so much on the line to be quote unquote great, to excel at something that's so many other people are trying to be great at as well. Of course. And it's not, you, you know, it's, and then I think that it's one thing to be great at something, but it's also one thing to be great at something when you have an opposing force also trying mm. to take that greatness away from you. Yeah. Cause and it's that, not and like, can motivate hey, you. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, it's not like, you know what, we're going to crown the Super Bowl champion from the people who play uh, flag football on air and whoever puts up yeah. the best numbers on air. Cause then it would be like, Oh, it's just a matter of personal performances. Like, yo, you just do, you don't have anybody. That's it's like, no, no, no. You have someone else that's literally trying to do the exact same thing every Sunday against you so it's like not only are you prepping so that you can take it it's like yeah they're trying to take away from you so it's and and do the same thing it's always saying like yo they're pros too they get paid too people like oh how come we didn't just do this i'm like what because they're literally trying they're 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 doing the same thing to stop that exactly they're preparing to stop exactly it's just it's remarkable so so like you you mentioned that and and i didn't think we're gonna go to this conversation but i feel like it 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 kind of flows into it well you mentioned before talking about like you know when there is the losses it's good to have that support system that family that like you know you kind of like rely on and what have you in terms of like when you're in it though right and you you mentioned this like you want to be great right like that's the goal like i want to be great whether it's greatest of all time whether it's greatest at my whatever yeah whatever that looks like yeah whatever it is like greatness in of itself in terms of that, you know, do you think that it requires like that sacrifice of whether it is relationships, family, friends, what have you, like in order to like become that? I mean, like you look at, you know, and obviously today is like a day, but like with Kobe Bryant, right? Like he yeah, talked yeah. about this so many times where it's just like, listen, like you, you don't know me, like, right? Like you during this season, like during the, like, that's it. Like I need to be great and I need to go and I need to do this. So I'm curious yeah. if like, you know, your thoughts on this, obviously like you, you have a family, you have a support system, what have you, like how, like, how does that get balanced of like, I need to be the very best that I can possibly be and also trying to maintain that? Well, I think that I can, I can speak to myself and then you can speak towards looking at data, an example. So sure. for myself, yes, knowing the type of person I am, I don't do really well multitasking. So for me to be great at something, I have to go full force and give it all my attention and cut out whatever I believe to be other distractions. And when I do have distractions, they usually take away from what I'm doing. Um, You know, my family used to definitely be like, oh, Ryan was mean. 
when I was playing. And it's because there was a level of focus and there were other things that I just didn't give energy to in time. I was like, no, nah, I don't have that. Yeah. But on game day, I tell my family, like, yo, don't, like, don't mess with me on game day. Yeah. Like, I'll catch you after the game. That's fine. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And it's not a matter of, like, I love you. You know, I'm in support of like that. But, like, the, I'm, I don't want to give attention to the extra. Those are distractions away from my focus and what I'm doing. Um, with training across the board, I think, and if you look at data, but that's me personally. I know that sure. I do that. Even if that was how I was in regards to relationships. And I apologize to all my past <laughs> relationships in regards to, I know. Yeah. I know I wasn't the best quote unquote partner. I know I wasn't the best probably in friendship across the board, just sure. because my level of, I also knew that what I was doing was finite. And it was, there was that's an a good point. Yeah. You know, like I only have a certain amount of years to do this where literally it's going to end, whether it by force, whether somebody tells me I'm not going to be able to do it anymore, but yeah. that's it. So I'm trying to take this craft and make it make the most of it while I can. And, you know, my mother basically told me when I was like 18 or 19 that I had to because of who I was and then add it on what I do. I had yeah. to be OK with there being, quote unquote, like a revolving door. That people I had yeah. to be OK with people coming in and out of my life and not getting frustrated because of my level of focus. So people had to be able I had to be OK with people saying, you know what, this is not for me. I don't want to be a part of it. And I'm like, no, okay, I get it. Because it's, yeah. you know, it's not for everybody. Hence why you always hear like, oh, marrying an athlete, being with an athlete. It's not for everybody. You know, it is. It's not yeah. for everyone. It's not a lifestyle that's for everyone. You know, sometimes they, people always want, they want to talk about, oh, the, all the, the uh, I guess the benefits and the affluent aspect. That the comes fame, the like, yeah, but you have no idea. Like, it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Like, to actually be a part of that. And to recognize in many degrees, my mother, listen, when I was in college, my mother told my girlfriend in college, football is his wife, you're his girlfriend. You think he's going to give more attention to his girlfriend than his wife? Now, my mother told my girlfriend this in college, and she didn't say it to actually be. No, like mean. It was just like. To actually say it so that she could frame expectation. And it's like, yes, football was my wife. Very much so. And, it, and I used to tell, like, there's no relationship if football doesn't work. So if you think that you're going to prior, be prioritized over the, the, yeah. the ship of, you know. So, and then if you look at, but I also think that comes with age and balance and trying to find all sure. that, you know, and it's very personal to who the person is. So for me, I, I reckon like who I was. Um, some people might be able to find the balance. You know, I, I was talking to AJ Hawk, I think about a year ago, and I was on his podcast and or it was on a radio show, or whatever. And we were talking about that aspect. And I was talking about the fact that I have kids now. And I know that I'm very glad I didn't have kids. Oh, God. Kids because I don't know. I might have been that guy to miss out on some stuff because football was my first kid. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I don't and you know, and I'm not, I'm not judging either. Or. I, I know that the series, and so I'm not judging decisions made either or. Uh, but I'm just glad that I I don't have to be in that position to pick and choose. Yeah, um, and everybody knows I love my you know I'll do my kids are my life at this point. They're, sure. my, new, they're my new football. Um, but uh, when you look at even the data, when you look at the people who are extremely great, yeah, talk to their family members. <laughs> see, see if it was easy. <laughs> I'm yeah. just saying, like get the get the perspective of their experience. And, and let them say how challenging it was. This is why, when, you know, with the tragedy that happened to Kobe, when people are like, oh, my goodness, I feel so sad. I'm like, I'm worried for Vanessa. I'm like, let me explain something to you. Vanessa is the least person that I'm worried about. You know why? Yeah. Because she's Kobe Bryant's wife. <laughs> yeah. To be Kobe Bryant's wife. You're going to war. You know you got to be the truth. Yeah. There's no way that you could deal with the energy and everything that Kobe gives off and this, you know, the stealth and the stoic at, yeah. about Kobe and not be serious and legit and worthy of. Vanessa, I already know Vanessa's the truth. Because even if it just, even if she wasn't initially when they started dating and it rubbed off, guess oh, yeah. what? You couldn't have asked. The great, the, the greatest rubbed off on her. So yeah. she'll, she'll be okay and she will understand how to navigate and her strength will be remarkable. So, uh, but yeah, I think that that's really interesting. If you look at like the families of 
And then and the perspective might all be positive. Like, yeah. I'm sure my family doesn't have an all positive. They probably thought some of the stuff was unhealthy. Um, but in that moment, yeah. I, it was what I felt was best. You know, shoot, the game of football is unhealthy. No, 100%. So, 100%. so, so for me, it was like, oh, I know it's, this sport is unhealthy. Oh, this but is gonna for me hurt to be me. great at it, I have yeah. to some degree be unhealthy. So, yeah. yeah. So, like, yeah. so when you're when you're not in it, right? So, like, your last down of playing football, like, yeah. is there an is there an adjustment? I mean, obviously, like physically and stuff like that, but like mentally, that like, oh, like I don't have to think about football anymore because you go from this thing of like it's all consuming, right, in which it literally yeah. is dominating every waking moment of your life, yeah. and now it's not. Is it kind of just like? now I get to live, you know, cause I feel like they're like, they're kind of like, is that right? Where no, it's no, just to like, some degree, you know, but I, I, I think, I, yes, that is a phenomenal perspective, except it's hard to take that perspective when this is what living looked like, because yes. now it's like, Oh, I don't know how to live or what is life? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is living without this? You know? So it's like, yeah, it would be phenomenal if people say, oh, now I get to live like, like you just said, whoo, yes. And there are many aspects you do, but most of the time, because of our right connection now. and our attachment and just the human aspect of us, and usually it's forced upon us. That's what, that's, and I think that's usually what adds it. Usually our, our exit out the game is forced upon us. Yeah. Usually we're not given the opportunity to leave on our own regards. And say, you know what? I had a good run. I had a good run. Yeah, I appreciate it. We don't yeah. we go out with cheer. No, that's not usually how it goes. John Elway, <laughs> Peyton Manning style yeah. of just like, if, see if, guys. If every guy, if every guy got a chance to say, you know what? I'm good. Keep me on the team until I'm ready to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then and then when we decided, you know what, I'm no longer done. We got a little standing ovation in the crowd. Like, you know, yep. you say, you know what? Okay, Ryan, what you, you said you're done. Okay, so. And uh, next week at 3 p.m., we're going to do a, the crowd. Lambo's Mind Grand and, Celebration Day. Yeah, you know, like, it would, I think the relinquish, relinquishing of those reins and uh, of the cleats would be very different. It's not the case. Usually it's like, yeah. yeah, you're not good enough and we don't want you silence for months <laughs> with the aspiration of trying to get in your life. You know, yeah. The age is like, honestly, dude, it's been two years. It's not going to happen. We're, we're done now. You know, <laughs> and then you see Jason Witten coming back and you're like whoa, whoa, whoa. but he can come back <laughs> so yeah it, it, it becomes that so i think that yeah. it, would, it would be a little different and yes i agree with like i think it's a phenomenal concern because now i can live but so much of the issue is that when guys that don't they don't know how to live because so much of their life has been identified and consumed with that and just from the sense of waking up and not having a schedule like yeah Wake up and be like, okay. Remember, I said, I, I, I think I talked about this when I was young. The first time I like that, my first season out when I got a uh, like a public gym membership, and I would go to the gym and be like, okay, what do I do? Workout-wise? <laughs> I struggle yep. to put together an actual workout because I'm so used to looking on a card and being like, bang, 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 and I was like, all right. What goes with what? Like, okay, what am I? Num- <laughs> what are my numbers? Like, well, okay, yeah. uh, what? Are, I'm like, whoa! But it's because I've been so so many years. I've had you know, and that's what they do. They they know what it takes energy wise to be great. So what they do is, you know what? Let's minimize all the distractions for these guys. They don't have to worry about picking food. They don't got to worry about nothing. They have to do no. We're one stop shop. Blah 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 blah, blah 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 blah. You know, yes. Yeah, so it's crippling in this, <laughs> from a societal sure. life aspect. It's very crippling. Sure, sure. You know what they should get? Uh, I need to talk to the NFL PA. We need to. Uh, they need to. Everybody needs to get assigned like uh, an assistant when they get out to yeah. help them with. As soon as they get, you, I you feel retire, like you okay. kind of have to. Like it's. Like, you know, you, you talk about, you know, this is obviously a different aspect of it, but like the how many world, players? Yes, first world issues and very affluent. Oh, definitely. And, yes, I know. Most talking. definitely. Yeah. Like you look at it, right? Like guys make so much money, you know, when they're in the league and then they're like, uh, like, how do I, how do I manage this? Right. Like, like, what do I, what do I absolutely. do with this? Like how many people go broke? Because it's just like, I wasn't taught spending habits. Like I wasn't yeah. taught that like not to buy this stuff. And I think like 
that it's it's crazy that you could think about that is like you're essentially like indoctrinated into this you know this league in which you're just like i need to be at this level all the time like you know to keep my yep. job to keep my livelihood to everything and when you're out of that you're like well that's done now what the hell do i do with myself because yep. like there, how do i fill the time in my day like in my schedule because it was all, it has been filled for me for however many years. Yeah. For, yeah. And most of the time it's for many years because these kids, yeah. this focus and determination and schedule and discipline starts way before college. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, how do you, yeah, it's a, so I, I do actually, I think that guys need to be, it's like part of you sign a big deal. You should get uh, an assistant. <laughs> it should yeah. come with, it should come with a, some sort of, manager like a transition manager yeah you sign you sign a big deal matter of fact i'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have a conversation about this. you sign a big deal <laughs> yeah and part of your big deal is a transition manager mm -hmm. yeah i mean like and you can obviously compare this to like a number of other like major life changes where you go through them like you know you're in something for so long like whether it's like the military you know whether yeah, whatever, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely yeah absolutely it, it's 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 a similar mind and again obviously i'm not comparing being the military to the nfl but what i'm saying is like the mindset of just being like, this is what I do day to day to day. It's chosen from me. I do it the yeah, same it's way. The, it's, it's just the the isolation and dedicated yep. towards one thing, yep. towards a goal of one thing. And that's where, this is why uh, veterans and athletes can actually understand each other in many ways from the brotherhood aspect, from the team and the unit aspect, sure. in regards to the discipline, the focus, uh, it being so hard, the extremes, the the long nights, the long, you know what I mean? The early mornings, long, it, it's, it, that's the notion. So yeah. yeah, it's not particular to sports. It's not particular to the military. It's just that in those spaces, in, in any spaces where number one is team, it's the goal to be elite in that team because there's a task at hand that takes you to, to be elite. You have I mean, to accomplish the task. You have to be elite. Um, you're going to, you're going to get on the same page. So you're going to understand, you know, professional athletes yeah. across the globe <laughs> yeah. can have the same conversation about what it takes. I don't care if it's women's soccer and any team, team sport, they're going to understand, you know? Yeah. And, um, yeah, I like that makes it remarkable, makes it heavy, makes it hard. It's, it's, it's inter It's so fascinating. I find, cause like Rogers has talked about this too, right? Like, you've won a Super Bowl, like you did, like you did it right. Like you achieved a goal for that one season and yes. like that had to feel amazing, right? Like you did it, you accomplished it, et cetera. Is there also like a hollow feeling at like the same time where it's just like, we did it. Cool. And then like a week goes by or two weeks go by or three weeks go by and you're like, okay, cool. Like that was great. Now, now what? <laughs> yeah. Like, Cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, is there that kind of like, we did well, it I, so great. Like, this well, is our goal. I, I think future. that, okay. And so I, my perspective on this is, of course, limited because my my attachment to the Super Bowl run is, is a different space yeah. because I was hurt. Um, but I do know that this is why I live by the notion and by the premise of it being all about the process. Yeah. And you set goals to obtain the goals. And some goals you reach, some don't, you don't. But even when you reach those goals, there has that capacity to be like, okay. I did it. Like, yes, it is filling my cup. But I, no matter what, you still recognize that your cup is always going to be, have a little bit more space. So it's like, okay, well, damn, I thought this was going to like fill my cup over. Yeah. You know? So I was going to be satisfied. Yeah. It's like, but that's is humans literally our existence is dissatisfaction <laughs> that's actually yeah. why technology exists that's why we grow as individuals because we are never satisfied we're pushing right. to actually learn more do more across the board so um I, I that's why i stick to the perspective of and i love taking on it's all about the process the process and that's the value is in the process because some goals you obtain and then what you still got to keep living. You still got to keep doing. It's Some goals done. don't obtain, and it's still, yeah. but but what you learn, what you appreciate, what you gain during that process of in in search of that, 
is where the, that's the goal. Those are the jewels and everything like that. Now, obviously, Rodgers has spoken upon, you know, speaking when we're talking about process, that, like, it's not even necessarily, you know, the Super Bowl is obviously the goal and, and to win it all, but it's like those relationships that you build with the teammates yeah. and, and stuff yeah. like that because that's the stuff that's going to transcend the game. Absolutely. And, and Rodgers was out talking about today kind of what it's going to look like. He'll be in Green Bay for a little bit, and then it's just like, I need to get away from the game. You know, you need to get away, kind of, yeah. like, recharge, refuel, do do all those things mm-hmm. in order to – be ready to do it again. Right. You know, and, and he's yeah. making a joke that he's like, I might not throw a ball until like the end of July. Cause <laughs> like, you know, cause he's like, well, because you, know, I don't, you know, what happens is that you don't want to. And I think that the older you get, you start to learn this. It would, it, he could really easily become cynical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you think <laughs> like, but, but then listen, he could become the joker in regards to like the, it, it, and I don't mean that extreme, but yes, in the sense that, when you're young, you're what do they, what do they say? Like you just have all the you know, just, all, oh, there's oh, there's you know, always next year. It's like oh, there's always all that, and then it's like, you know, you start to realize, oh shoot, there and might not now be. you start to look at it's like, I can't do this. It's not happening in the way, and you just keep. If you were if everything about you is consumed about that, you literally start to become consumed by it, mm-hmm. and. You know, you want to consume yourself with it when you're younger. Yeah. And then you get older, you realize, oh, I don't want to be consumed by this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, consuming yourself with something and then letting it consume you is two different things. So I think it's, yeah, it's, I think he has a, he's, he has to find that now a healthy relationship with it. And yeah. that's it because he could, he could easily shoot Packer. You, you know what? Look, Packer fans are a prime example of a situation where, I think in many aspects, they allow themselves to become consumed by it. They're not actually trying to consume themselves with something. It's sure. no, you, they allow the Packers to consume them, their world and everything to the point that like, when it doesn't work out, they become the, the literal, yeah, yeah. it's like, whoa, 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 there, whoa, there's, whoa. There was, that was it. I put all this time and energy yes, it's in, like, and if we don't win, exactly. then what is there? Exactly. Whoa, 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 what is the point? What is, and I'm like, well, yep. That's the point. <laughs> if you can't find a healthy relationship with it, it will destroy you. Like this has the capacity to invest some money to, it could absolutely devastate, you know? And this is why at the end of the day, I think it's, it's life, life lessons, you know? It is, it's so much more than a sport for us. Mm-hmm. And in the same breath, it is a sport. It's a sport. Football is so important to us it's what we love it's something that has taught us more about ourselves our lives like you know it's life lessons endless it has given us so much as players as coaches blah 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 in the same breath it is not important in the big world scheme of things because guess what guys stop playing all the time (laughs) and it doesn't happen yeah. Everything, you know, life goes on. And if you're able to find that balance of, you know, so the whole notion of like, yo, when one something happens like this, so many people's world ended. Yeah. On Sunday. Yeah. Like their world was actually crushed. And it's like, nah, a world just sure. ended. But my world didn't end. Like, like, can you imagine? Like, think about it. If you if, if you have to act, if you're responsible for other, just, just as a parent, can you imagine being a parent? And that's it. We lost. Fuck it. We're done now. <laughs> you're I'm done. I'm done. No, no, no. no. Oh, yeah. Oh you, oh, you want food? Well, guess what? Guess what? Not. I wanted problem. a Packers win. And <laughs> like, no, it's so it's, yes, it's, it's finding that healthy balance and a lot of times the, the healthy balance comes later on down the road. Um, Na- uh, Nagler told this story. I don't know. I, I don't remember if it was again for the 2014 championship game. Um, it might not have been, I, but he, he told that story that he like just had uh, one of his kids yeah. and like brand new, like baby. And they lost and he got really mad. Then he looked down at his kid and goes, okay. And like turns the TV off. Like, and that's, that's, it. that's the, per- that's the perspective, that's right? That is it. It's like, yes. And it doesn't take away, oh, it is gut-wrenching. Sure. 
but you have to have something else <laughs> yeah. that potentially can just put it in perspective. And I'm not going to say take it away, sure. but just put it into perspective. And that's yeah. it. Put things into perspective. And anybody who thinks that these dudes don't care and don't take it, you are so wrong. Yeah. It is so naive and so wrong to think these dudes dedicate their entire since kids these kids these dudes have we, we were pros way before we started getting paid in our approach our discipline and this is why across the league when dudes don't respect their craft and don't take it serious from a professional yeah. aspect yo no they get called out and dudes will say like nah man you, you bs and you're bullshitting around you know and it's because like no like come on now this is this is our craft respect respect your craft yeah. And what you do. Um, this is our livelihood. Yeah. Like this is absolutely this is, like, yo, this is, this is how we feel. And this is how we feed our families. Yeah. Now it's our, it's our job. It's our career. It's not only our craft, but it's like, oh no, no, no. But there are things on the line now. Mm -hmm. How you play affects how I make my, and vice versa. So it's, you know, there's very much, that's why it's a phenomenal. We're going to work together. We're going to sweat together. We're going to bleed together. We're going to cry together. <laughs> We're going to laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, welcome to <laughs> welcome to life lessons uh 303 i don't think this is 101 life lessons 303 with yeah, no, uh, we're we're in the advanced tom, and, tom and ryan yeah packers life lessons um yeah but hey this is why you love it this is why you, you love it because it can make you feel so good and so whatever can make you feel so good it can devastate you Ain't and that it, the truth? And it has. <laughs> <laughs> it, it has. It, yeah. yeah. No, I I hear you. Like 150%. And it applies to so many other things in life as well. A oh. lot, <laughs> lot, of, lot of lessons you get out of it. A lot of lessons. But Mr. Ryan Grant, uh, I, I, I think this is a good one. And I want to, you know, good. regardless of, you know, what, what the future holds for yes. Grant and Grassi, because we'll see what happens, right? Uh, this has definitely been a bright spot of this uh, of this season. It's been a pleasure yeah. getting to know you, Absolutely. talking to you, and uh, you know we'll, we'll be we'll be doing things together. Don't you worry. Absolutely. You know I, I want to I do want to let folks know that I'm actually really proud of this Packers team, though. Like, oh yeah, I got much respect for that squad. You know. Other squads are good. We're, we're good. Last year's team, like I said, I'm, I'm not taking anything away, but I got a lot of respect. Like, I tip my hat to this squad. It didn't end the way that they wanted by any means, any of us. Uh, but I, I'd line up with any, any any day of the week, I'd line up with those dudes. Yeah. And, yeah. and for me, that's like, at the end of the day, not everybody, you don't, you don't necessarily like everybody's game. That's sure. just how it goes. But if you can, if you respect, I used to always say, like, I don't even care whether or not people like how I play the game. If they respect me, I'm with it. Like, that's it. Because that means they'd line up with me, you know, and get yeah. it done. So I, I, my hat's off to, to these dudes. Um, and yeah, build upon, take, take the, take the feelings, take the perspective and use it as fuel and whatever you want, whichever way you want, but use it as fuel. Don't let it, uh, consume you to the point that use it as fuel to get and obtain whatever the hell you want yep and that's it and listen you're talking about and highlighting how great the process was the that's process it. of the season was pretty damn good pretty damn good pretty damn good pretty damn good mr ryan a lot of, Grant. A lot of, a lot of serotonin we were feeling oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> we were feeling good oh yeah mr ryan grant yes, please sir. tell the people where they can find you uh, in my cave, <laughs> find me uh, I think as of right now. Like I said, I, I I told you off camera. I went over three in the weekend, so I had a rough weekend between the UFC fight with McGregor. Oh, my hat's off, and Dustin got it done at the end. Listen, um, that was a great. Hey, he oh that yeah, strategy. I, oh, yeah, I I and I I, I said I, I'm losing it. You know what? I don't know what's going on with this. Maybe I'm not as young as I used to. I don't have an eye <laughs> like I used to. But uh, I did not see that going the way it was because I thought he was methodically just doing it. But those leg strikes, I was not. Eve. Wasn't giving enough attention to the leg strikes. I didn't think they were doing as much damn. But 
Kudos to Dustin, man. Um, House McGregor has uh, dropped out a little bit, but um, uh, but I love that McGregor was respectful and everything. So he's a great competitor. Um, and then the Chiefs game definitely didn't see that that whooping was going to go. Jeez. <laughs> At least we'd be like, at least that didn't happen to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so with that being said, um, I had a rough weekend. You can find me in my cave and at Ryan Grant 25 on Twitter, Ryan.grant, Instagram. Now I'm just going to be working on all my personal podcast stuff and working on my, uh, my woes. My podcast is just going to be me weeping. Just get get that folk album ready. People were talking sounds, about it. You know, right? Yeah, that folk You're album. Reading. I got I got a lot of material now. <laughs> I got a lot of material to work and, on this folk album. And cool all of these songs yeah. are sad as shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is so where phenomenal just, material will be built off of these this past weekend. Yeah. You just you just you just slip into the bath, you you put Absolutely. it on, and yeah, you just on. openly weep with weep. a bottle of Merlot. Yeah. And that's it. There you go. That's it. Phenomenal album. Oh. Wait, that's it. So, but I do look forward to, uh, I look forward to connecting with A-Rod. I look forward to connecting with some of the guys. Um, and, um, and then hearing their perspective. So I'm, uh, here we go. That's All it. Right. Man. Mr. Ryan Grant, it's been a pleasure. Always, man. Pleasure. I'll see you soon. All right. Absolutely, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, and that's Ryan always, Grant. As always. Well, I'm always. And as always, because it doesn't as matter always. if they win in two goals. We don't even care if there's a season, as always. As always. Go. Pack. Go, Pat, go. Go. Get it. Mm.